Hello friends, welcome to the very first lab of uh, our AWS course and what we would be doing in this session is we would be creating our uh, new account with AWS. This would be a free tier account and we would be using um, the same account all throughout our course to try our uh, test and POCs. So let's get started. So once you type AWS free account in your Google, you would find various links and you can click on AWS free tier and it would open up a new window for you. So this is a free tier account window and if we just scroll down so these are the various types of offer that you could see one is always free so there are some resources these are free which are uh, fall under you know which fall under free tier and do not expire there are some resources which are free for 12 months and there are you know some uh, resources which are available uh, for free for short term and mind that you know the resources which are available uh, for free for 12 months they have two cases either they are free for 12 months or for few hours whichever expires first so let's take a quick look on you know what these resources are so you would be able to see on this page so ec2 is available to us for 750 hours or 12 months whichever expires first like i said and mind that we can use only t2 micro or now they have created t3 micro as well so even uh, these days t3 micro of instances are also available and similarly you you, know, you can see s3 is available 5 gb of you know storage is available to you rds 750 hours for 12 months so these are various uh, you know resources you can go through it take some time to go through it or what else you can do is you can simply click on various categories for example if you click on compute so here you would see you know all resources under compute like lambda light sale elastic load balancing so whatever free usage uh, terms are for those resources so you would see resource specific details uh, if you click developer tools you would see all the resources that fall under category of developer tools so please take some time to uh, you know go through this once you have created with the account but right now we can proceed with the next step so all you need to do is you need to just click over here create a free tier account and then it would take you to this kind of sign up page and here what you can do is uh, just put your mail id uh, your password of course your both passwords should match here you are confirming and here you need to put your uh, aws account name uh, kind of alias or short name to your aws account uh, so i'll just click my mail id which i would like to keep uh, as secured so i'll just move on to next screen so here on this screen you can select the account type if you click here and in info select professional if you intend to use this for company or educational purpose otherwise personal so let's click personal because uh, at least we would be i would be using this for personal use so this is a full name of my account or short alias you can say uh, you can keep it blank as well on the first page so phone number which i would be uh, you know putting in some time and your country region and city province postal code and you might have to check this and click create and continue i'll just do this and and proceed to next page On this page, you need to put a credit card number or debit card number. For Indian users, please mind that you cannot use uh, the uh, card, which is a rupee card. Like most of the cards in Indian banks, you would see is a uh, kind of rupee cards. That is not yet something which has been accepted by uh, Amazon yet. But yes, Mastercard or Visa, you can uh, use your credit and debit cards. So I'll just put on my credit card number and my details and maybe I'll uh, pause my screen and move on to next important thing is you might have to verify your card so once you click on next so guys you will be on uh, this screen where you will have to verify your card so you'll uh, receive OTP on your mobile number so I'll just put it and say submit So in the previous step, uh, uh, you know, it might deduct some two or five rupees from your account and those would be refunded back. It, that step is just to check your card is working. And this would be the last step that uh, we would see. So here you need to put your cell phone number. And so this is the last step of verification. Again, you can select text message or a voice call. I will go with text and I'll put my uh, phone number over here and uh, this uh, code and I'll say send SMS. And this would be the last confirmation screen. So I'll just go ahead and you know move with it. 
So this is the last step where you would receive a text message if you had selected text, a text or a voice call and you would receive a code over here. Let's put that and say verify. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. So you can continue on this and this page and here at this step you would see the support plan. So there are three plans available. Basic plan which is free developer plan which is paid again $1.29 per month and a business plan usually uh, a right one for corporates uh, which is from you know $100 per month so of course we would select uh, you know this free plan so I would go ahead with this so at this point you might have received a, a mail as well so in fact I would get started from here my role is so here you can uh, leave this blank and direct click on sign in console or else you, you know you can also select your roles just as an interest so I'll just select an architect let's say devops and I'll say submit so let's check our mails but what have we received over there so guys I have received this mail a welcome mail from Amazon web service and you can learn more on the free tier that we had selected by clicking on this page so you can click on this and you can click on this access your account so just in case you want to sign in So the free tier account would take you again on this page where you would be able to see the explore the free uh, tier details and uh, if you click on the account to access it then you might see this kind of page uh, so I am user and root user so right now the email that we have used we have created a root account so we will log in as a root user and not a I am user I am user is one uh, once you create new users under your account so we will uh, use root user I'll put my mail ID and the password that I had used so I'll just log in into account uh, using my credentials I'll pause the window for a while so guys you can see I have logged into my account uh, and the account which says control tower which I had created uh, and I am on the billing and cost management page you might also receive several mails just like I showed you the, the welcome mail you might receive several mails talking about you know some tutorials of AWS uh, if you are a beginner so you can also explore that so that's all we had in this session guys hope this was a learning curve for you I mean in this session we the this uh, the intention was just to create this main account which we would be using for uh, our entire course but in the next session let's uh, you know go a step ahead to secure this account so we'll implement uh, MFA multi-factor authentication so that we have we use uh, two sets of uh, credentials or uh, authentication modes to secure our account so that's all we had in this lab guys hope you enjoyed this lecture thank you